Hey guys, it's me, Goku. And sorry if I don't sound as cheerful as usual. In case some of you couldn't tell, I'm really, really mad. You won't believe the kind of day I had. First, Chi Chi made this really delicious feast for dinner last night. I mean, you should have seen it. It was so huge that even I couldn't even finish it. But that's not the worst part. Anyway, the feast was so huge that we all couldn't finish it and only ate about a half of it and saved the leftovers for another day. When I woke up this morning, I remembered all of that delicious food from yesterday and thought I could have some for breakfast. I was so looking forward to it. But when I went to go find it, I found that all of that cooked food from yesterday was gone. As well as all of the stuff we had in the fridge, even my bacon and muffins disappeared. The fact that we had no food left in the fridge started to make me hyperventilate and I began to wonder who stole all of our food. However, I spotted a trail of some food including muffins was left behind that leads straight to our door. So I began to follow the trail until I reached some kind of secret lab hidden inside a cavern with the symbol of the Red Ribbon Army on it. I broke down the door only to find that my call of random. That's right, the guy who made this video was the one who broke into our house and stole all of our food. I asked my call of random why did he take all of our food in the house when he probably already had more than us anyway. He said that the food wasn't for him, but instead it was actually for Android 21. I asked why did 21 need all of that food and my call of random told me that he was making an offering to the one true god that being 21. He also said that the food Chi Chi made just looked so delicious and even 21 agreed. However, she said that wasn't enough to satisfy her since her appetite is even larger than mine, so she demanded for him to fetch him even more food. So he went back to my house and took out a massive chunk out from the fridge as well as my muffins and bacon and gave them to 21. Now obviously I know that my call of random is obsessed with Android 21, but the fact that he stole my muffins as well as my bacon just to please that psycho android. This time things had gone way too far. I mean, I'm like one of my Call of Random's favorite car actors as well besides 21. And yet he treats me and everyone else like this. It usually wasn't like this before 21 showed up and before Dragon Ball Fighters came out. I think this is what Vegeta calls a simp. Anyway, as I was saying, what he did today was completely uncalled for. Nobody, and I mean nobody, steals my muffins and bacon. Plus that was a lot of food we had. My call of random did apologize, however, and said he would make it up to us later, seeing as how 21 is part boo and that she could just make some food with her magic. I was able to forgive my call of random and told him to never do it again. He did, however, give us the food he had in his fridge and let us keep the food he left behind, but deep down I was so disappointed. I was so looking forward to having that Super Saiyan breakfast I wanted, but all of that still wasn't enough and I was still a little agitated by what happened. But then I remembered this one time when we were at the mall that Gohan said that Chi Chi said shopping was a stress reliever. I did wonder if it worked or not, and since I didn't want Chi Chi to yell at me, I decided to just go out and grab some food by myself. So I called for my flying Nimbus Cloud since I hadn't used it in a while. But then I remembered that Chi Chi said something about wanting to be more civilized or something which bummed me out. And there was not much time left until Chi Chi and the others woke up and find out what happened. So I hopped into the car. Yes, we have a car. But I had a little difficulty trying to get it to start, but I got through it eventually, I think. But then all of a sudden, just as I switched the gear of the car, I started going backwards instead of forwards and began driving all over the place, crashing into everything in Mount Pao Zul. I ended up sending myself flying off a cliff and landing at the bottom of the mountain. And I accidentally crushed a baby deer in the process. Oh man, that was so not cool. This is why I preferred using the flying Nimbus Cloud back then. Somehow I survived. But to make matters worse, Frieza showed up in his new black form from the newest manga chapter and hit my car with his death beam and destroyed it on impact and then flew off laughing. Great! That 690 centi gone down the crapper and Chi Chi is gonna kill me after this. Also spoilers to those who have not caught up with the Dragon Ball Super manga but Frieza got a new form by the time of this video's release. Now that I think about it, maybe I should have gone back and redone my driving test I did with Piccolo a long time ago. Chi Chi however did find out about what happened and let's just say she wasn't too happy. Oh, and just when you thought this day couldn't get any worse, guess who decided to leave their illegitimate test to be somewhat dad for the day? Yeah, none other than yours truly. Now I imagine most of you might be confused as to what I'm saying since the only known kids I've had are Gohan and Goten. Well, let's just say that I also had a middle child in between the two unknowingly. During my time on your dread after my fight with Freeze on Namek, and when I learned instant transmission, I had my blood stolen by one of the old Supreme Kais who supposedly died fighting Majin Buu a long time ago. She then used my blood to create a half-Kai half-Saiyan hybrid named Zekor as part of a revenge plan. Some of you might recognize who I am talking about from Toyodoro's old Dragon Ball AFN manga before he started working on the Super Manga. What? Are you Dragon Ball fans gonna start complaining about how Zekor isn't canon to the series and that my call of random can choose fan characters in this video? Well, this is a Dragon Ball parody, obviously, and none of this is canon anyway, so why don't you all just shut the hell up and let me finish the story? 
Anyway, I tried to convince him to not be evil since he was kind of my son which worked surprisingly. But he doesn't live with us however since he is his own place. And let me tell you, he's pretty difficult to deal with unlike Gohan and Goten. Not to mention I really wasn't in the mood especially after what happened today. First my call of random steals my food and gives it to Android 21. Then I bust the car and Frieza destroyed it after. And now I have to put up with Zaycor to make sure he doesn't destroy anything or kill anyone. Not to mention how this impacts my family. Every waking moment it's dead, can I destroy West City or dead, can I kill all the Namekians? Doesn't that sound amazing to listen to? Especially from when it's someone related to you. And in case it wasn't obvious, I was being sarcastic. I blamed his mother for how he acts. And no, I'm not referring to Chi Chi. I'm talking about the West Supreme Kai. Honestly, I would have let Piccolo deal with him, but I don't think he likes him more than Gohan. But you know, today I actually thought that Seikor was actually doing a lot better than the last time I saw him. He actually seemed a lot more calmer and stopped acting psycho and killing random people. But boy was I wrong. Because a few minutes later, I walked in on Seikor in the living room about to sacrifice my call of random and Goten. I yelled at Seikor to stop, but then Android 21 crashed into the room in her true form screaming. Where the fuck is Mikey? And then 21 and Seikor got into a huge fight outside the house. Chi Chi also came outside after hearing the fight and started screaming. What the fuck is going on here? I explained to Chi Chi about what was happening and how Zaykor was acting pretty normal up until this point, and boy was she mad when she heard that Goten got involved. But she didn't really care much about my call of random or Android 21 however. Speaking of 21, she was still fighting against Zaykor. I begged 21 to go easy on him but she wouldn't listen to me. To be honest I understood why 21 was angry with Zaykor since he and my call of random are very close. I mean, I would probably feel the same way if anyone threatened to hurt or kill my wife and children. Or even my friends! But I was really hoping that she wouldn't start turning more crazier than Zaycor and go easy on him since I figured maybe he didn't mean to drag my call of random into this. And she starts becoming psychopathic whenever something bad happens to him. I think this is what Bulma calls a injury. Anyway, the fight was beyond crazy, but it was really unstable, so much that the two of them even started wrecking the house halfway through the fight, which made Chi Chi furious. I tried to stop them before either of them could start to destroy anything else in the Ori, but that didn't work. And the next thing I knew, the entire forest, as well as our house, was now a scorching wreck. Kind of like the aftermath in most fights in Dragon Ball. And of course, Android 21 was the winner. Well done, 21, you saved my call of random. Oh, and thanks for also almost destroying our house, too. And in case it wasn't obvious, I was being sarcastic again. She left carrying my call of random back to our secret lab. And if that wasn't enough, Zekor also stole a PlayStation 5 from some random person and then killed them after, just before he was doing his weird sacrificial thing. So he was just lying to me about being normal and not going around killing people and destroying things. Shenron, damn it! Poronga, damn it! Kami, damn it! King Yama, damn it! King Kai, damn it! Supreme Kai, damn it! Beerus, damn it! Wiz, damn it! Seno, damn it! Great Priest, damn it! And any other gods or godlike figures in the Dragon Ball universe I missed, damn it. And by my call of random, Android 21, damn it. Say is going to be the death of me, I swear. Chi Chi was absolutely furious after what happened. But I'll admit, she wasn't as mad as me, however. But before Chi Chi could go on another run like she usually does, this time it was me who burst out in a fit of rage. I screamed at the top of my lungs that said, Say Kor, I've had it up to here with you. You're grounded. No more training or going out on Earth until Dimps makes a new Dragon Ball game that doesn't suck. Chi Chi was astounded after I said that since she usually does the yelling and she didn't expect me to do it. But it certainly worked on Seikor, that's for sure. And I know it's out of character for me to say this, but seriously, at this point, fuck my life. Well, I suppose that's all I have to say for now. I think I'm going to spar by myself for a bit to cool down. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, a comment. And subscribe to the channel for more videos, as well as share with your friends. That's how YouTube works, right? I don't know. My call of random is the expert, not me. And I'll see you all later. And thank you Vegeta1089 for making the voice models for Fake You, also known as vocodes for the characters featured in this video.